Hi everyone. Today our session it will be about introduction in respiratory protection program. The contents for today's session will be about the program idea, the purpose and importance of the respiratory protection program, the targeted category of the program, program elements, evaluation method, follow-up method for the application of the respiratory protection program. The respiratory protection program was designed by the General Directorate of Infection Prevention and Control of Healthcare Facilities at the Ministry of Health and it was mainly created and developed to confine various infectious respiratory illnesses. The main purpose and importance of the program is to provide effective protection and safety from respiratory risk and threat and to ensure that all healthcare workers, patients and visitors are protected from respiratory hazards through adoption of a systematic approach that incorporate the four major elements with relevant sub-elements. Those elements and sub-elements are activities that already present in our practice in different infection prevention and control branches. The target category of the program is aimed to provide the protection from the risk of respiratory infections for all healthcare workers, patients and visitors in all healthcare facilities. It is implemented and supervised by the infection prevention and control practitioners at different levels, at the hospitals, health clusters, health directorate, and by the general directorate of infection prevention and control in healthcare facilities at MOH. To ensure the effective implementation of the respiratory protection program, it is really significant to ensure the implementation through the program elements. First, prevention of respiratory hazards through administrative controls. Second, early identification of respiratory hazard. Third, prevention of respiratory hazard through engineering control. Fourth, prevention of respiratory hazard through respiratory protection equipment. So by implementing all these four program elements, you will ensure that the respiratory exposure to the infectious respiratory illnesses will be implemented. The program elements and sub-elements. Prevention of respiratory hazard through administrative controls. The sub-elements of this standard is development of the respiratory protection program and we have to assign our rules and responsibilities. We need to discuss the respiratory protection program activities in the regular infection prevention and control committee and we need also to develop the respiratory protection program policy and procedure. We need also to monitor and evaluate the respiratory protection program activities and providing education and training for all healthcare facility staff, patients, and visitors. The second element of the respiratory protection program is early identification of respiratory hazards. It will be well implemented through performing a respiratory hazard evaluation, early identification of patients with infectious respiratory illnesses, early recognition and source control of patients with infectious respiratory illnesses, transportation of suspected confirmed infectious respiratory illnesses cases. Also, another sub-element of the early identification of respiratory hazards through collection and handling of respiratory specimens. The third major element of the respiratory protection program is through prevention of respiratory hazard through engineering controls. We have to have available and functioning of airborne infection isolation rooms, availability and functioning of portable HEPA filters, and also availability and functioning of laboratory biological safety holds. The fourth element of the respiratory protection program is prevention of respiratory hazard through respiratory protection equipment. Availability of respiratory protection equipment, including face mask, respirator, and bubble machine, and also fit testing is provided to all healthcare workers. Evaluation method. Respiratory protection program in the healthcare facilities is evaluated by using the respiratory protection program auditing tool. The auditing tool should be used by the respiratory protection program coordinator at the hospital level as a self-assessment. Auditing tool could be used by the RPP coordinator in the health directorate or cluster to evaluate the performance of the respiratory protection program in the hospitals. In this slide, it's clear that 
the respiratory protection program auditing tool. So by using this tool, you can evaluate the performance and the effective implementation of the respiratory protection program elements. We can follow up as a method for the application of the program. So the respiratory protection program should be followed by the revision of the auditing tool reports and KPIs. Action plan with the timetable is another method to evaluate the performance of the respiratory protection program in the hospital. The only and the most important aim of the respiratory protection program is to improve the hospital activities regarding protection of the patient, visitors, and employees from the risk of exposure to the infectious respiratory hazards. Remember that the, the appropriate and effective implementation of the respiratory protection program is to improve the safety of our patients, our healthcare workers, and our uh, visitors. Thank you so much for listening to this session and we are available for any inquiries or questions at any time.